this is a thug, this union boss, which is using the power of his union monopoly, because the antitrust laws don't apply to unions, to attack three big, major American corporations. And by the way, who's going to slip in behind them? The Germans and the Japanese and the South Koreans. They make pretty damn good cars. Well, the other day, Joe Biden shuffled into uh, a UAW strike line uh, for publicity to show he stands with the unions. Uh, he still hasn't found time to go to Palestine, Ohio, and spends 40% of his time in Delaware. But he wanted to make a showing that he's a union supporter. And I'm going to take a stand here that some populist conservatives disagree with me on. And you know what? I'm sick of them. They don't even know what the hell they stand for. I'm a constitutional conservative. I believe in the principles of the founding and the limitations of the federal government and the Constitution. I believe in individualism and unalienable rights. I don't know what a populist means. 120 years ago, a populist was a socialist. I believe in we the people and Americanism. That's what I believe in, but that put aside. Since when is a strike by individuals who earn on average $82,000 base salary and with benefits on average earn $150,000 a year from the three big automakers? $150,000 a year on average. They want a 32-hour work week that is, cut one full day out of their week, and they want a 40% increase for a five-day work week when they're working four days. And they want increased benefits. Now, two things will happen if that happens. Number one, you'll never be able to afford a new car again in your life. And that will also drag up the price of used cars because people will be moving into that market because they won't be able to afford new cars. Number two, we as the taxpayers are going to have to subsidize this crap. Because when these companies are going to go broke, they're going to come to us for short-term, low-interest loans. That's what they did about 15, 20 years ago. It was the people who said, you know what, I'm not buying American cars. Why? Because they're crap. That's why. So they finally got their technology together. They finally got their act together. They compete beautifully now with these foreign car makers. And so now the union's saying... We want our fair share. You got your fair share, $150,000. Then I hear conservatives or pseudo-conservatives, populist conservatives say, well, the electric vehicle market is what's killing them. Well, what does that have to do with a 32-hour work week and a 40% increase? If you really believe that, shouldn't your position be that we want job security? What does it have to do with a 40% increase in a 32-hour work week? One has nothing to do with the other. But why would conservatives of any stripe jump in and support this? The union boss at UAW is a Democrat thug. He wants nothing to do with Trump, who he trashes, and he embraces Biden. Biden's the one with the electric vehicles. Biden's the one who's driven inflation through the roof. Biden's the one who's making it for, difficult for people to have ends meet. But I'll tell you where Biden won't go, or even Josh Hawley or J.D. Vance, who want to go to a pick a line or have. They won't go to a car dealership once this is all done to greet you, we, the people who can't afford a car, or the salesmen there, or the service mechanics there, or the janitors who work there, or the people who wash the cars there, and God knows how many tens of thousands of other people, because you're not going to be able to afford a car. Businesses exist for you, we the people. That's how they stay in business. They're not in business for the executives. And if the shareholders want to get rid of the executives, they can. And they're not in business for the laborers. There are no laborers if there's no business. And there's no business if people can't or won't buy the product. So let me ask you something. There's this diner all three of us go to. I have two of my wonderful producers here. There are women working there who earn minimum wage. And they get most of their money from tips from tips. They talk to us all the time. They talk to me all the time about the price of fuel, the price of food, the price of utilities. They're going through the roof. They're literally cutting things off the kitchen table. These are not the people populists should be getting around, $150,000 a year. The people at the diner, they're the ones the populists should be helping. If you're a real populist and believe in we the people, 
Four, per, excuse me, six percent of the private sector workers belong to unions. Six percent. And the overwhelming majority of Americans don't belong to any union. Now, I understand the police unions and the firefighter unions. These people are under attack personally, physically, by politicians left and right. But this is a thug, this union boss, which is using the power of his union monopoly because the antitrust laws don't apply to unions, to attack three big, major American corporations. And by the way, who's going to slip in behind them? The Germans and the Japanese and the South Koreans. They make pretty damn good cars. And they're going to lose customer loyalty. And those other manufacturers, those farm manufacturers who have many plants in the United States with many American workers, they're going to take a bigger part of the market. I am not going to support this. Not now, not ever. For all this and much more, sign up for Levin TV.